Due to changes in global chip rules, the global semiconductor industry chain has been chaotic and Chinese semiconductor companies in particular have been severely affected according to data. In the first half of 2021, China's electronic computer output reached 230 million units, a year-on-year -year increase of 40, ranking first in the world. However, although China's computer market is huge, the core equipment is severely controlled by others if the supplier runs out of stock or if there is any conflict. Between the related countries the Chinese computer market will collapse instantly then the good news is that in recent years more and more companies have begun to pay attention to the self-development of systems and processes now it is said that the purely China-made computer is coming soon which will be equipped with domestic system and domestic chip besides Huawei's scientific research department is also developing a PC processing chip, codenamed Pengu what breakthroughs does it make okay? Let's learn more about it in today's video. In recent years more and more Chinese companies have begun to work on the self-development of systems and processes although there is still a big gap between the finished product and the mainstream product on the market it can be seen that this gap is gradually narrowing because of the unremitting efforts of RD personnel. There are two main purposes of self-development of chips and systems. The first is security imported chips can easily be left with loopholes by others from the hardware level if the enemy obtains information and controls equipment through loopholes it means that we are going to lose in the war also the same is true for the operating system the protagonist of prison gate revealed that microsoft has a cooperative relationship with the u.s government and will help relevant u.s departments to obtain online encrypted files the second is the economic effect although the marginal cost of chips and systems is low the selling price and profit margin are terrifyingly high. According to data released by the General Administration of Customs of China, the import value of chips in 2020 was exceed 350 billion US dollars, which is the largest number of the imported product in China. In the first three quarters of this year, the year on year growth rate of chip import was more than 20%. At present, the representative of domestic chips is the Lynx and Series, the newly developed. General Purpose Processor Lynx and 3A5000 is based on the independent instruction set long. Archon does not require ARM or Intel to authorize its architecture realizing design and production freedom according to the official speed measurement data the performance of the Lungsun 3A5000 is close to that of the first generation Risen processor although the results are not impressive it is totally enough for daily entertainment and office use as for the system UOS is the leader among domestic products and it is called the best domestic operating system at this stage by Professor N.I. Guanyin of the Chinese Academy of Engineering it is true that the maturity and feature richness of UOS is not comparable to that of Windows the gap between the two systems is visible but like the lungs and chip the UOS system is absolutely enough to meet the daily needs of users in fact for the operating system the most important thing is not the design and functionality but the software construction in this regard UOS has been adapted to a variety of office and entertainment software such as WPS WeChat and browsers it is worth mentioning that some manufacturers have begun to integrate domestic resources to create purely domestic computers on December 30, 2021 Tongshin has officially released news that it had completed the adaptation of the Lungsen 3A5000. The domestic computers jointly built by Lungsan Singhua Tongfang and Tongshin have been deployed in some business halls. The emergence of this product can be seen as a turning point in the development of China's electronic computer industry. Another good news is from Huawei on December 6, 2021. A person familiar with the matter broke the news that Huawei's scientific research department is intensively developing a PC processing chip code named Pangu Huawei is pinning its high hopes on this new chip that is they wanted to replace those well-known powerful PC processing chips such as Intel's Core and AMD's Risen with this new Pangu M900 chip. Pangu is the name of the creator in Chinese legends according to legend in the beginning of the world the sky and the earth were not separated and there was only darkness and chaos. Our ancestor Pangu a giant had been born and growing up in it for 108,000 years one day. He woke up opening the eyes he found that everything was blurred and invisible. 
Angrily he grasped an axe and wielded it with an effort with a bang the chaos was split all of a sudden the light and clear air rose up to the sky and the heavy and turbid to the earth Huawei gave its new chip this name Pangu then what kind of new world does Huawei want their Pangu to create first? Of course it will increase Huawei's economic benefits and promote Huawei's development and progress for government and enterprise customers because the requirements of such merchants will be stricter the market should be relatively large and stable if Huawei can really open up such a world through Pangu then it is likely to greatly increase Huawei's economic benefits through these economic benefits in the future Huawei is also likely to realize its own greater ambitions and broader development. Space with the help of its banknote capabilities second it will increase Huawei's market influence companies that can enter the government enterprise supply chain are basically strong according to Huawei's current position Huawei seems very confident that Pangu will enter the government and enterprise system in the future if Huawei's Pangu really enters the government and enterprises it is still very likely to increase Huawei's market influence. After all this is the most authoritative. Certification for Huawei's Pangu chip quality and other hard power then what impact will it have well with the existence of purely domestic electronic computers Chinese manufacturers will have more confidence when negotiating with overseas companies overseas companies will also make certain concessions in product pricing and procurement rules because of their concerns about substitutes domestic systems and domestic chips have brought not only survival guarantees but also tangible profits too. China's electronic computer industry however it will take a long time for domestic electronic computers to become mainstream products in the Chinese market and domestic chips and systems to replace overseas competing products there is currently a very embarrassing problem with domestic electronic computers that is they cannot enter the civilian market this happens for two main reasons the first is that its own competitiveness is weak due to the lack of game applications and professional Application support domestic electronic computers are not very attractive to most users. The second is that the price is relatively expensive because the product cost cannot be reduced without mass production when the quality of the product itself is poor and the price is relatively high. Consumers will increasingly reject domestic computers. It can be seen that the domestic electronic computer industry has gradually fallen into a vicious circle of development however domestic electronic computers are not without strategies to defeat the enemy in fact with the efforts of the entire industry chain the experience of domestic electronic computers is rapidly improving all in all in my opinion if the domestic electronic computers reach the level of getting the satisfaction of most users it is only a matter of time before domestic electronic computers replace overseas competing product under the wave of domestic substitution okay that's all for today